Hello YouTube. Well, I'm not sure how well this is going to show on video, but it's kind of pretty out here this morning. Had some snow last night, some wet snow, and it's uh, covering everything, sticking to all the trees and everything, so it's kind of cool. It's about 7 o'clock in the morning, and I'm on my way over to the shop to light the wood stove, or the pellet stove. I'll get that lit, go in and have some breakfast. Then we can actually start working on the 170 today. So I'm uh, looking forward to that. Okay, the 170 has been in the shop here for a couple days. A couple things I did notice that I hadn't noticed before. This lift cylinder on this side is leaking pretty badly. It needs to be rebuilt, but I'm gonna have it off anyway, so that's not a big deal. And another thing, there's a spot in the tire right here that looks really sketchy, but uh, fortunately, I already have another set of tires for this thing, a really good set of used tires that I was planning on putting on here anyway, so that doesn't matter. So the first order of business is to make myself uh, some splitting stands. And for raw material, I've got a uh, frame rail from a WD parts tractor that I had here a couple of years ago. So of, uh, the frame on each side of this 170 has a couple of uh, 5 8 holes right there conveniently located. So uh, all I have to do is take my piece of frame rail on each side, hold it up against there, reach through the back side market, drill my holes, and I'll have my, uh, my stands made. All right, I've got my stands made. I've got two 5 8 bolts holding each one on, so I'm pretty confident of that. I am going to keep the back end of the tractor blocked up because these are, too, are so far forward. I'll keep them, keep the back end of the tractor blocked up. Uh, yeah, I did also take advantage of Cyber Monday and uh, purchased a bunch of stuff that I knew I was going to need for this thing while it was on sale. And uh, I say I have to, it needs to be split right there. But uh, basically, instead of just taking that apart and, and uh, splitting the tractor apart, basically what I have to do is take everything off the back end of the tractor, take the wheels, take the final drives off, uh, take the differential out. And then uh, basically when there's nothing there but the back, uh, the back casting, uh, pull that off. So now I guess I need to take the uh, wheels and tires off, block it up and start, start removing stuff. Okay, I've got the wheels and tires off. I rolled them back there into the back part of the barn. They are not loaded, so it wasn't a bad job to move them around. And I've got the, uh, I've got the tractor blocked up in the back underneath the final drives for right now. I'll keep them there, keep those blocks there until I'm ready to take the final drives off. So uh, next thing I guess is remove the fenders. Okay, I've got the fenders, the seat, and the top plate off there. Next thing I need to do is remove the uh, hydraulic controls and the spool. And I wanna make sure I get some really good video of this so that uh, I can review it when it's time to put this all back together again. <laughs> so this is more for my use than for yours, but uh, hopefully you'll, uh, you'll bear with me. Uh, the brakes, I can't really tell much about the brakes yet. Uh, from up here, you can't really tell much until I get them apart. The, the uh, final drives, it all needs to come apart anyway. so. I'll know more about it when I get it apart. So, uh, okay, I think I've got sufficient uh, sufficient video here for this, so I'll go ahead and keep taking this apart. Okay, I've got most of the lighter stuff off here. I didn't bother videoing it because it's all been extremely straightforward, just unbolting parts and taking them off. Nothing complicated. Now we're getting down to where we have some uh, some heavier bits here, the uh, arm or the uh, housing there with the lift arms and the hitch under there. 
Uh, those things, I will probably be using the cherry picker to get them off. But uh, uh, we got a few other things to do here, so I'll just keep moving ahead. All right, it's dark outside, so it must be about time for me to knock it off. I've got uh, I got the cylinders off, the lift cylinders off. I've got the footrests off, and uh, plus I. My curiosity got the better of me, and I took the top off the transmission. And it's kind of a mess, just like I, I thought it was. Uh, be, be able to tell everything when I get it apart. But, uh, yeah, we're going to be putting a lot of nice new shiny parts in there. I'll get into that later. But, uh, anyway, I've made pretty good progress today, considering I don't work very fast anymore. So that's it for today. I'll get back at this next week. So until next time, everyone out there, have a good day.